Hello YouTube, welcome back to the FIFA 22 A Road to Glory. It is episode 9, it is rewards day. We are here, we've got our Div 4 rank 1 rewards and we're going to take a 50k pack untradeable, a prime gold players pack untradeable and 20,000 coins for the club. So we are live on Twitch. If you haven't come to see all the content live, make sure you head over to Twitch at poorly29 so you can see all the gameplay, trading, SBCs and all the other good stuff live. What are we getting? A one to watch, according to JS. He's going on record. We're up to 140,000 coins or 134,000 coins. The team is still the same, but there will be some changes that we're going to make in this episode. So stay tuned because we will be upgrading the team. Let's go straight into our packs and see what we get. I'm very, very excited. I don't really want any of those, JS, to be honest. I'll take Griezmann. So we're going to go straight into our prime gold players pack i'm extremely excited to see what we get it is boards we get joel matip not what you want not a fan of our pack there and it's all untradeable so let's see if we can move pulisic up there which now is untradeable so we'll get rid of him and we'll move on to our 50k pack i'm excited to see what we can get can we just find a way to get something big here? 50K packs don't always pay out for me, but here we go. 50K pack time. Can we get a walkout? That's what we want to see. We don't get a walkout. We get boards. We get French goalkeeper. We get M Mannion from AC Milan. There could be something could be something hiding behind here. Is there a Dembele? There's a Mertens, a Felipe. And that's about it. So not really what I was hoping for for the grind. We get Lopez, who we'll probably get rid of. Thorgan Hazard, who's tradable. And then Ben Chilwell. We've obviously got our Ben Chilwell, so we don't want to get rid of him. Not ideal. Um, we'll probably cut across to what the team's going to look like for champs. YouTube, so sit tight and you'll see us at the squad screen. Welcome back, YouTube. We are here ready to go for... Some Divi Rivals gameplay to finish the episode off with. The team has been changed. We've gone and brought in Theo Hernandez. We've gone and brought in Ismail Assar and Bernardo Silva. We're still playing the same shape, which is our 4-3-2-1, with Timo, Sterling, Saar, Kessie, Bernardo, Foden, Tomori, Srinja, Wambasaka, and Hernandez. So chemistry takes a little bit of a hit here. Um, Srinja managed to get full cam. I think it's yeah, Wambasaka. Kessie, yeah, the only two now that aren't on full cam. So I can live with that right back and defensive midfielder. So we get Grealish and Taliska as two options off the bench for the boys. So more than happy with this team uh, rolling into yeah, Champions Finals this weekend. So I'm quite excited to see how we'll go. I'm, I'm holding on to my Riyad Mahrez. Um, I'm going to try and sell him overnight. I'm just going to have a quick look, see what he's going for because I'm a bit worried that their prices are fluctuating because he's not someone that's super usable. He's sitting at about 9K, so we might be able to flick Mares off now and at least try and bolster some coins back into the club. I'm going to have to do some trading as well just to try and get some coins back and then hopefully over the weekend there's some decent SBCs that drive the 83 and 84 market a bit higher so that we can at least sell out of our investments that are there. Or if I'm going to kind of make small profits, we might just sell out just so we've got some more money to use. But you're going to get a full game here, YouTube, because obviously the packs didn't take us too long. Next week's rewards are going to obviously be a bit more uh, lengthy um, because of the Kevin Rudd FC. Um, because of Foot Champs obviously being involved with the rewards next week as well. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying lots of the gameplay. Hopefully it shows you um, what I try to do um, when I am playing. Obviously, if we win this game, we're in Div 3. So we're starting to really move up the divisions, which is nice. Uh, but I think... Once we get to Div 3, I feel like we might get found out a little bit with where our team's at. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't seen much of Morientes at Sterling. We know his quality, and that is 1-0 already. Raheem the Dream has managed to put our opponent 1-0 up. Kevin Rudd takes the lead. 
And can we see something from Ismail Assar in this game? I've heard lots of glowing positive reviews of Ismail Assar's card. I've used it in draft and on some friends' accounts, and I really enjoyed him. So we're hopefully playing this right forward role. It's a little bit different because now we don't have both of our forwards looking to cut in for those finesse shots. So we obviously get we do get Bernardo underneath uh, Saar for that reason. But with Saar, we're looking to kind of like shift the play out to the right wing. He then takes off uh, with his speed and will look to sort of break in behind and sort of hit those near post uh, driven shots or um, low driven across the goalkeeper. So Juan Bissaka, good movement here from Bernardo Silva, but a real poor pass, probably on my fault. To be perfectly honest there, I'll wear that one. It's Pedro, who is a very, very good card, but that has to be offside, and it is. Can we get this ball back in play? Phil Foden really needs to get involved here. It's finding Timo, but Marquinhos is an absolute brick wall. If you guys have not versed Marquinhos, count yourselves very lucky because he's very difficult to get past, as are Kimpembe and Ramos and a lot of the other players that play for PSG. is Morientes, who I haven't seen uh, much of, to be perfectly honest. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes against us here today, but I'm happy with where we're at with the team. If we lose games, we lose games. It is what it is. Um, I'm not too disappointed. Um, obviously, I want to win every game because, you know, at the end of the day, we're competitive, but I can deal with losing if we're playing against people of high caliber and that they're playing well and I'm making silly decisions like that and then the game decides to step up. We'll take a corner there if that's what's going to get given to us, which it looks like it is. So let's see how we get on. Um, I just don't want to concede from this corner. Well done to Maury. He is just game on game. I just keep saying it. He is just an absolute beast. Well done by Sterling. Well done, Skriniar. Great challenge. And we do find Ismail Assar. Poor ball. Timo's done okay there, though. That was for Kessie, so I don't know why that didn't lock onto him. But now we're going to try to get Sterling on the ball. Now we've got runners going forward. It's Foden who can't find that tiny gap, but they've run into each other. Can we win this ball? No. Oh, this guy's... This guy's composed. It's going to be tough. I feel like every time I turn the camera on for YouTube, we get a, a really good player. So you, some, you will see you know, good games. I'm not going to hide games and, and only show you wins because that's unrealistic too. If I turn it on and I'm going to show you a game, I'm going to show you that, that whole game. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully we can turn this around. It's a great challenge from Lorente. Finding Pedro. Well done again. Frank Kessie, another absolute brute that we've stumbled on this year. And that was the run was there initially, but Werner did stop it as I was powering that pass up, which sucks a little bit. So let's see if we can sort of get the possession back on our terms, get a bit of a counter going. They pass it straight into Skriniar, but we don't get rewarded. And here we go. Frank Kessie, Foden. Can we get some movement off the ball now? Really struggling to break this guy down, which is frustrating me a bit at the moment. And here we go. Sterling has Timo. Has Bernardo. Go for the finesse. Oh, it's well blocked. Green time. Finesse's edge of the box. That's the situation that I want to get into. I feel comfortable enough taking those on with Bernardo as well. Obviously, Marquinhos was doing Marquinhos type things, which frustrate me a lot. And Skriniar, what a beast. Grinia, if you have not used him and you've got a Serie A team, I would highly recommend doing so. Now, why is my monitor turned off next to me? We are recording, so I'm quite surprised that it's turned itself off. But here we go. Can we find some possession, number one? This guy is just keeping the ball really well. I'll give him that. It's Morientes. Here we go. Can we get our bodies in the way here? Skriniar, good shot. We'll take that all day. I see Sterling calling for the ball. And that's where we go. I see Saar on his bike as well. We're not going to... Oh, that was for wan -Bissaka. Now we get wan -Bissaka in. Can we create something here? It doesn't look like we're going to. We'll go back to Saar. And there's not a whole lot that I want to use. Sterling, Saar, Saar, bang. First time, good save. And I just realized we're versing Donnarumma again. Oh, I hate versing Donnarumma, guys. I don't know. If, if you guys are using him, I'm sure you're loving him. But he frustrates me so much. Oh, Miller Tau as well with Marquinhos. That's not a combination that I see too often. And it's a combination that would be very, very OP, especially if you get Hakimi and Mendy either side of them. And here we go. It's Morientes trying to take off. Theo Hernandez has done very well there. Can we just keep the ball? What are we, 37 minutes in? Not too many highlights here, though, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I know we're 1-0 down, but it's Ismail Asar now. 
driving. Oh, done okay there. It would have been ideal for him to obviously score that chance. But Donnarumma is probably the goalkeeper that I've had the most struggles with playing against so far this year. Let me know in the comments who the best goalkeeper you've either used or played against is. Who's the best goalkeeper you've encountered? That's probably the best way to put it. Which is the best one you've encountered this this year or so far on FIFA 22? That's a corner for us. And also let me know what you guys are doing from corners because I'm struggling to score goals from corners. I'm not going to lie. Although if you were in the stream earlier today, I did score a nice header with Fakayo Tomori. But we go, we get Hernandez. Now there's not a lot for us to play to. We get Saar running through on goal. Can he get past Militao? And that is a definite no. Militao is an absolute beast as well. So we've got our work cut out for us. I thought he was going to give that pass there, which would have been ideal for us because we did read it. And here comes Pedro, who's got that five-star weak foot. He's a fantastic footballer on this game. And it's De Bruyne with his five-star weak foot. And he's dragged the shot wide. And that's probably going to be all they've written for the first half. I wouldn't mind seeing... I feel like that we're versing a 4-1-2-1-2. We might actually match. Let's go and match this system. I think Saar and Werner as a combination up front could actually be a very, very good strike partnership. So let's just quickly see what they're playing. Yeah, playing 4-3-1-2. We're going to quickly just look at our tactics. We've got a 4 one 2 one 2 here set up. So we're going to have Werner. We're going to put Saar in as the striker with Timo and uh, Sterling can play the cam role. And we're going to go into this as a 4 one 2 one 2 So I do need to set this up for weekend league as well because there's going to be games where I feel like I want to change shape just to see if we can create something else. Obviously, the strikers being next to each other give you um, better options to bounce off of. Um, and I can't remember what my fullbacks are set to on this as well. They might be on balance, which means we might actually concede a few goals here, but I'll live with that because our fullbacks in Juan Bissaka and in uh, Theo Hernandez, they're good enough going forward that they can contribute to the attack. So here we go. This is what our, our opponent currently is really good at, sort of playing in these spaces here and, and not losing the ball. And that's what I need to get better at. So it's Timo and he just can't get on the end of it. Sterling's there. Timo's there. And the good thing about this 4 one 2 one 2 is we do have it set to as a, as a real pressing formation. So we're going to try and, and force our opponents wide. It's Saar, bang! Ismail Saar makes it 1-1. Let's go, fellas. This is our, our press and go for the... Go for the jugular formation. And I think against this opponent, we need to be going for the jugular. So let's stay in our 4-1-2-1-2. See maybe if the pressing is going to help us out. Maybe this could be the shape we move to long term. I'm not sure. But I think we can sort of bounce between the two. And the team's good enough to sort of mix and match between those two shapes. But there was a ball there to Morientes on that they didn't take. Theo, Sterling. Sterling into Werner. Here we go. Now the boys are buzzing. The blue lads are buzzing. It's Ismail Assar, has Werner. Got Bernardo, can't link up with him though. And it's Mendy, probably the best left back in the game, cleaning up for our opponent. And it's Morientes versus Skriniar now. So Skriniar's done his job. That's well done by Morientes. That's high, Can easily high over the bar. From the minute that left the boot, we knew that we were in no trouble whatsoever there. And here comes Juan Bissaka. Finding Bernardo Silva. Now, can we get that ball the other side? We've done well. We found Theo Hernandez. Can we just keep the ball here? It's Werner, Sterling. He has Saar, doesn't use him. Gets by one. Goes to his left foot. Raheem! Raheem the dream just needed to just find a way to get that away from the defender. The ball's through there. They didn't want to take it. We got Juan Bissaka who does a great job. He is fantastic. Shout out to Jaden. I don't know if he's watching... But absolute beast in Juan Bissaka. That was his recommendation for the road to glory. And here we go. It's Theo Hernandez now. Has Foden. Uses him. Werner's making a defense splitting run. And he just can't get onto the ball, which is a bit disappointing. And that's a great dummy from Navas. And he's away with Jesus Navas. We pull the shirt once. Can we get there again? Phil Foden, to be fair, has done pretty well, considering he hasn't got a chem style to help him get faster. It's now the 68th minute. We're drawing 1-1. It's Kessie. And we've gone into this 4-1-2-1-2. And we've managed to get, not dominance of the game, but we've managed to get ourselves into the game here. It's Werner, who can't shift it inside. Does get it to Phil Foden. Has Hernandez. 
Got to use that width now. Can we just find a good ball into the box? Hernandez. Saar, what a finish. Ismail Saar with an absolute screamer on his two-star weak foot. The boys in the Twitch stream that has ended now were telling me, don't get Saar. He's got two-star weak foot. Well, boys, there you go. Ismail Saar, what a belter on that left foot of his. Absolute top bins. Puts us 2-1 up. Kessie, please don't lose the ball here. What a response by the boys since going 4 on 2 on 2 It's Werner, Sterling, left foot. Oh, Sterling, that would have been nice. We've got Phil Foden just sitting on the wing, though. Can we find something? Sterling, here we go. Raheem has Bernardo, doesn't use him. Has Saar. Maybe this guy thinks he's left-footed now. It's Ismail Assar. Did all the hard work and just couldn't get the shot away. What a turnaround from the lads. I'm just happy that our boy Saar's got on the score sheet. And it's a header goal bound by Saar once again as well. Here we go. Now, I've got to think, do I want to stay 4 one 2 one 2 I almost do because I think we're just controlling the game. We've managed to match our opponent's shape quite nicely. It's just disappointing that... Our 4 one 2 one 2 is so aggressive. And what a block from Tamori. Hernandez does well enough. He's going to stay wide. We do well. We win the goal kick. Now, 15 minutes to go. I'm going to make that substitution. Jack Grealish is going to come on for Phil Foden. And Bernardo Silva is going to come off for Anderson Talisca. So I didn't actually introduce that we did the SBC for Talisca. So we used all untradeable cards uh, from our club. To complete that SBC. So I think the biggest thing we got rid of was a, a Laporte that I had untradeable and the Thiago Silva. And then the rest of it was sort of 81, 82 um, overall stuff. So nothing nothing groundbreaking for us um, with the way the market is currently. So good kick from Handanovic up to Saar who wins it. It's Grealish and poor ball from me to be fair. I just tried to force that probably a bit too much. Now that looks like Insigne to me. We've used him enough to know what his body type does look like. And here we go, Timo into Saar. Can we just find the right pass? We don't. It's Kessie, though, to try and do the cleaning up. Clean up in aisle CDM, and it's Taliska. And we want to try and prevent this counter-attacking opportunity now. It's Xavi finding Insigne. Well done by Skriniar. He's done fantastically well, as he has all game. We've found Jack Grealish. We find feet. Sterling is trying to stretch the defense. Has Saar in support with him. Also has Juan Basaka streaming forward. Can he just get a ball across Juan Basaka? He can't. He wins it back. It's Juan Basaka. Oh, and we just tried to throw a ball into the mixer there. How many times have we said just put it in the mixer? And can we get the ball here? Nine minutes to go. Probably just need to try and just step on the ball a little bit more. Taliska does well. Finding Theo. We've got Grealish. We're going to have to use him, I think. We might have to recycle possession here. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go out to Juan Basaka to keep this ball alive. Seven minutes to play. Taliska peels off nicely. Use him again. Use Saar into Sterling. Back to Saar. How he was leaning. He used his the foot. He was he couldn't even see his foot. It was behind his body. And Insigne's got the goal side of Hernandez. The square ball's on. Nabry's there. <sighs> and it all comes from a dumb deflection because I, I don't think that interception really should be happening because he pressed circle thinking I was going the, the other way. And his back foot's caught the ball. It's just dumb. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. But anyway, I guess that's life, isn't it? Just sometimes you get the rub of the green. In that situation, we didn't. Werner, Saar. I was kind of wishing Taliska was going to make the run there, not Wan-Bissaka. It's Saar again, though. We've got, we should have Grealish making a run. We don't. You've got to be kidding me. What kind of pass was that from Timo Werner anyway? Good ball over the top. Skriniar does fantastically well. Final minute and we've got the ball. Here we go. Sterling. We've got Saar again. Can we find Timo, who's been a passenger for most of this game? And that's going to be it, guys. It's a two-all draw. It's kind of disappointing. Obviously, from going 1-0 one, one nil down to 2-1 up, draw in this game probably feels about right. I felt... The goal we can see comes from a situation that should be avoided, but it doesn't matter. So if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And get excited because Foot Champions Finals are just a day away. And I'll see you for another episode where we're playing some Foot Champions Finals.